The challenges in injecting these cells into a beating heart so that the heart is a mechanical structure and that the cells, if they're injected alone, find it very difficult to find an anchor to grow and to then support the regeneration of the heart. The therapeutics that we're discussing today are stem cell technologies, which are almost science fiction, but becoming reality today. So this hydrogel is an exciting potential mechanism that we could use to really harness the regenerative capacity of stem cells We used a, ta a fluorescent tag so that so we actually attached that to the gel so that we could track the gels within the hearts as long as they stayed there and we, we could see that the gel stayed in the heart and it remained there for two weeks. So um, it's looking very promising the way that it would stay there and be able to hold the cells there for long enough for them to kind of integrate into the heart. More work will be required in animal systems to demonstrate that injection of stem cells in this hydrogel matrix actually improve outcomes following a heart attack. If that is successfully achieved, we can then move forward into clinical studies. But in, in order to get into clinical studies, we have to ensure that the hydrogel itself is compatible with the human body, that the stem cells are produced in a way that is uh, safe and reproducible uh, as a therapeutic. So it will be uh, a matter of years before this technology can get through into the clinic. Mm -hmm.